Well, we are finally here. My end of 2017 videos. And I have several ideas for videos I want to do, but I know I should start off with the one that you guys really care about. And that is the video where I showcase the cute animal characters in anime. Because while well, some people watch anime for the plot or for the plot, I know that my viewers are truly tasteful in their consumption of Japanese cartoons. They care about the finer things in life, like a good meal with friends, scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef, and writing fan fictions. You know who you are. But more than that, I know that they love the cute animal characters in anime. Sometimes they are purely animal, dogs oftentimes, but sometimes you'll get a cat or a fox too, or maybe they are closer to a human, but you still want to hug and pet them like you would a dog that walks up to you on the street. Now I do not have a problem. But I do have five adorable animal characters to present to you today. Number five, Chibi Moth from Rewrite. Chibi Moth was a character that I really liked in season one, but only season two aired in 2017, so I wasn't sure if I could include it on the list. But then, near the end, Chibi Moth showed up again, and I was oh so happy. Chibi Moth is a cute character, being both a dog that you want to pet, and also a spirit mammoth thing that can actually fight. He ended up getting some really cool moments near the end of season one when the forest was attacked, and he even fought off a dinosaur. Not many dogs can do something as awesome as that. Now can they? Number four, Shiro from Land of the Lustrious. Shiro is a character that I didn't know the show needed so much until it showed up. The adorableness was just so perfect with all these other characters, and it was a great contrast to the story at that point as it had started to get more dark and serious. And while they did not have a big impact on the story directly, their actions did push forward the growth of several characters, and they started pulling the thread on some of the mysteries of the show that I really wanted to see explored. Land of the Lustries is a very unique show, and the cute, fluffy Shiro is one of the many reasons for this. Number 3. Rico from Kino's Journey Rico was one of the best things that they added to Kino's Journey, and this was for the simple reason that it broke up the repetition of the episodes with just Kino, so instead we got to see a different perspective on the world with Shizu and Rico. Plus, Rico is just an adorable giant fluffy white dog, and those are the best types of dogs. I really do want a dog like that. Plus, Rico is voiced by Christopher Sabat, known for All Might, Inferno Cop, and a few other characters that no one cares about. So, really, what more could you want in a dog? Well, I'll tell you when we get to number one. But first, number two, Nanachi from Made in Abyss. Now, Nanachi is one of the many great characters of this show. Nanachi is the type of character that the show just needed to round out the cast that were Rico and Reg as they descended further into the abyss and further into the unknown. Nanachi was a character who could guide them, use her knowledge of the abyss to help them out and to explain things to the viewer. But as the episodes with her go on, we see the challenges that she has faced, the tragedies that she has had to overcome, and these have left her a bit jaded, but still a person who deep cares about those closest to her. Combine all this with the cute bunny girl and well she obviously deserves this spot on the list. But number one goes to Dog Coon from Aho Girl, also known as George. There is a magical power that dogs have to melt a man's soul. People cannot help but be moved by the purity of a dog's heart, one that embraces all the greatness in life, love all those who they meet and do not know what the word stranger means. And that is what Dog Kun represents. From enjoying the life he has with Yashiko, or enjoying the finer things in life like anime with Akaru. Dog Kun truly is man's best friend. Plus, having Yoshiko ride Dog Kun is the dream of every kid who has had a giant fluffy dog. So, I hope you have enjoyed this list as much as I have enjoyed these wonderful animal characters, since sadly I do not have a dog of my own. Maybe one day. And yes, I'll actually do some real videos about 2017 in a couple weeks, but I'm kind of still watching all those anime, and it's taken me a while, and I've been busy, and yeah. But there will be more videos coming about 2017, even if I haven't quite seen everything yet. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.